My name is Dale Stevenson, and welcome to our riveting documentary on the endangered species known as the manatee. Manatees' habitats consist of shallow rivers, like the ones here at Blue Springs State Park, bays, estuaries, and coastal waters. Manatees live in warm waters and do not often venture into waters below 68 degrees Fahrenheit. Hey Dale, what you working on? OMG, are those sea cows? Oh, hey Stella. I'm working on a documentary about manatees. Oh, that's what they're called. I forgot. Hey, do you mind if I hang out here while you record? I won't be a bother. Well, actually, I... Great, thank you. Continue on. Uh, okay. <clears throat> These younger creatures move about at a slow pace of 3 to 5 miles per hour. They can, however, swim as fast as 20 miles per hour, but only in short bursts. Whoa, those things can actually get good mileage for being so chubby. Uh, yes, I guess so. Anyways, the manatees spend a good portion of the day eating seagrasses and freshwater vegetation and eats up to 50% of its body weight a day. That's awesome! I wish I could just spend all day floating around and eating 50% of my body weight. Some species of manatee, such as the West Indian manatee, can live up to 60 years. Having no natural enemies, the manatees only worry about diseases, such as pneumonia, and humans. Are you saying that I couldn't go swimming with one? I'm afraid not, Stella. Hey, I thought you were going to be quiet. Well, that's a major bummer. Better take that off my bucket list. Oh yeah, sorry, sorry. Being that manatees are mammals, they must come to the surface to breathe. Manatees only need to go to the surface every 3 to 5 minutes. However, manatees have been known to hold their breath up to 20 minutes when resting, and if they are particularly active, they must surface every 30 seconds. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, but I have to say that's an amazing superpower. Imagine all the cool things you could do underwater if you didn't have to breathe. I could dress like a mermaid and mess with people. Oh boy, that would be fun. Well, actually, a long time ago, people used to mistake manatees for mermaids. Really? Huh, the more you know. Okay, sorry, go back to your <coughs> boring commentary. Actually, Stella, I think you and the viewers would find this interesting. The manatee is a somewhat social animal. They are known to play with each other by body surfing or playing follow the leader. These interactions are on the rare side. A more common social interaction of the manatee is between the mother and her calf. The pair is together for 18 months after the cat's birth, and the two touch frequently. The exact purpose of the touching is not known, but it seems to be linked with the cat's development of social behavior. Whoa, really? I didn't know that manatees like to have fun. That's so cool. And aww, that bond between the mother and the cat is soups adorbs. Oh, hey, fun fact that I just looked up on the interwebs. Did you know that when manatees body surf, they nuzzle each other and make noises? Who knew they like to be so friendly with each other? Well, that is rather heartwarming. It may all come to an end. With overhunting of the manatee for their meat, fat, and hides in the past, in addition to more recent incidents of motor boats hitting manatees, the manatee population has been greatly reduced. Even though they are protected by state and federal law, pollution and damage to the manatee's habitat have caused immune system problems and a reduction in area for the manatee to live. Oh no, I don't want them to go extinct. What can I do to help them? Being aware of the problem is one thing, but actively taking part in the solution is necessary to help save the manatee. Even spreading awareness of these different creatures, though through means such as tourism is enough to start making a change.